welcome back to another Q&A session here on my YouTube channel. First, how do you get a question answered by me, either in one of these Q&A videos or in my vlog? Simply follow me on Twitter and Instagram, tweet me your question anytime, or when I post a picture on Instagram asking specifically for questions, fire them in there and uh, maybe you'll get your question answered. And our first question today comes from Rachel Metz who asks, what do you think about when you swim? Okay, two schools of thought on that. When I race, I don't really think about anything um, except for executing proper stroke mechanics, right? Before my race, I visualize and focus on what the race is gonna feel like and how I'm gonna swim it, and then when the race starts, I just try and execute. There shouldn't be a whole lot of things running through your head when you're racing. Um, when I'm training, uh, half the time I'm, I'm thinking about doing something specific, like working on something technically, and then half the time I'm not thinking about anything. So there are some aerobic workouts where I go in and I'm just, you know, I just turn my brain off and I'm just trying to swim through the set. So it just kind of depends. Jacob asks, what does it mean for a swimmer to go pro? Okay, so professional swimming is a weird thing. Essentially what it means to go pro is you either finish and exhaust your NCAA eligibility, so by the time you graduate college and you can no longer swim in the NCAA, if you can sw if you continue swimming then as a postgraduate, you're technically pro. Um, I consider someone a professional if they're getting paid to do something, right? So if you're on the US national team, if you're paid by USA Swimming, and if you have sponsorships, that means that you're pro. Um, someone like Michael Andrews, for example, he went pro at like 13. What that means is he gave up his NCAA eligibility. So he took swimming and made it his profession and could no longer compete collegiately. So he could start accepting endorsements and start accepting money at a young age. And technically anyone can go pro at any time. So essentially going pro means you're just accepting money. Uh, Jack Chapman asks, did you get a scholarship to IU? If so, was it a full ride? Um, yes, I got a scholarship to swim at IU. It was not a full ride until halfway through my sophomore year. Um, my freshman year, I was only on about 10% athletic scholarship. So, you know, by the time I graduated, I had over $30,000 in, in student debt. Um, and that's not a lot compared to some people, but to me, someone who had zero money, that was a lot of student debt that I have um, very fortunately paid off now. I'm very, very proud that I paid that off. But no, it wasn't a full scholarship until almost my junior year. Cody J. Smeek, Smeek? I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Do you sing songs in your head while you swim? Yeah, sometimes I do. I think everybody does. Fernando Padrone asks, how can you have fun during practice but at the same time still work really hard? Okay, don't the two go hand in hand? So the way I feel, if I'm working really hard in practice, then I know I'm getting better. And if I know I'm getting better, then I have that sense of gratification. And to me, improving and getting better at something is fun. So if you're working hard and you're getting better, you should be having fun because that is one of the most rewarding feelings is improving yourself. And then at the same time, like, I don't know, goof off with your teammates, you know, splash some water. I don't know, have, have fun, man. Let's see, Judah Thompson asks, have you ever done a triathlon? I've never done a full triathlon, but I'm a decent runner. I'm obviously a pretty good swimmer and I'm getting really into cycling right now. I, I really like cycling. So doing a triathlon is something I might do someday. Roland S. Diaz or Roland's Diaz, I'm sorry. Um, Roland Diaz asks, do you still get self-conscious about your pectus excavatum? If not, how did you overcome that feeling? Okay, yes. Again, I have this super weird chest. I've got this sunken chest called pectus excavatum. I'm going to do a video on that. It's coming. But to quickly answer your question, no. I, I'm not self-conscious about it at all anymore. I used to be very self-conscious about it. There came a time in my life several years ago where I just, I took a step back and I thought, why do I care what other people think about me? You know what I mean? Like, so what, I look weird. There are weird things about everybody, you know? It's just, it just so happens that mine is like up there in your face when I'm not wearing a shirt. And I just got to the point in my life where I stopped caring what other people think, right? Like, I don't, I don't care what other people think. And like, once you let go of that, then it's kind of freeing. Like, it, it just, it doesn't matter. And that's probably one of the reasons why I'm comfortable now doing this like YouTube thing, trying to do these videos and, and making stuff is that, you know, if people like them, great. If they don't like them, then so what? They don't have to watch these videos, you know what I mean? I also channeled a little bit of my self-consciousness about how I felt um, into swimming, right? Like I, I took that negative feeling and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make myself faster than everybody else, right? Like I remember when I was a young kid, some people pointed at me and looked at me and thought I was weird. And I thought to myself, okay, um, I'm gonna shut that person down by beating them, by outworking them. 
And that put a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, right? Like I just, I outworked people because I was definitely at a disadvantage and I felt self-conscious and I, I felt like I had to, to work to overcome that and, and in time I, I think that I did. Okay, and that's gonna be a wrap on today's Q&A. If you didn't get your question answered, I'm sorry. I literally got over a thousand questions in the last couple days for this Q&A. Keep sending in those questions. I'll try to get through as many of them as I can. Um, when I do these videos, I, I try to take some questions where I spend a little bit more time explaining something that I think is important, but I would also like to do some where I just fire off and answer a bunch of questions to make sure that you guys know that I'm paying attention and that you get your question answered because I know that's really cool. Um, okay, so uh, make sure you're watching my vlogs this week. There's one going up every single day. I'm trying daily vlogs. I think it's going really well. It's been pretty fun. A lot of people are liking them. Um, but there will be a weekly vlog every Wednesday. Make sure you're checking those out. Um, yeah, and that's it. So till next time, see ya. Okay, I'm editing this Q&A and I realize I answered way too many questions to fit in one video, so I'm gonna do another video and post it tomorrow. Watch out for that one.